Hi there, friends. Another fantastic show today. I'm going to show you how to make this amazing Boston cod fish. Steamed. Amazing. Easy to do. Stay tuned. Remember, if you like the show, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please don't forget to ring the bell. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you exactly how to make this beautiful fish. All right, friends. Let me show you this. As to win the price of my easiest fish recipe. Period. It's really simple. It's going to be quick and simple. We're going to uh, uh, steam a, a cod fish in a broth made with uh, chicken broth, bok choy, leeks, uh, green onion, ginger, and chives, and carrots. And um, we're going to go right away and get, get the broth going, and then I'll tell you about the fish, okay, friends? So in the broth, I got some uh, uh, baby bok choy, and I'm going to show you in a minute how to cut it correctly, okay? And we'll do this in a minute while, while it's cooking, so we don't need to worry too much about it, right? I cut it already, and I'm going to show you how to do it. I got some uh, leeks in there, and uh, I cut the leeks very small. Everything has to be uh, cut small. You know, when I use the leek, I like to use uh, the, um, the light part of the leek, and, uh, and the light green and the white part of the leek, that's the sweetest part, the dark part I keep up to make stock. Uh, we're gonna put some, I got a stock going on over there. We're gonna get it, we're gonna get it going on high so it boils. We're gonna uh, shred some uh, ginger using a microplane grater. Cause you know, I don't care how small you cut it. Ginger, I like it, but I like it in small doses. I don't like a big piece of ginger. It's kind of like garlic, you know? Unless it's uh, steamed or, or roasted garlic, then, then I don't mind if it's a big piece. So we're going to shred it with a microplane grater. Ready? See right there? Plain, simple microplane grater. Ginger. And uh, we're going to use the carrots to clean it up. <laughs> That's a new tool. And uh, we're done with that. We're not going to put any salt and pepper in there because let me tell you, we're going to use soy sauce and that's salty enough. So... We're gonna put some uh, chicken stock in there and uh, we're gonna cook the bok choy and the leeks and all that. And we're gonna put some green onion. So we got green onion in there, leeks. We're gonna put chives at the end. That's another onion. And, uh, and then we're gonna talk about the fish in a minute. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get the broth ready. So easy. If you can't get the bok choy, you can get Chinese cabbage. You can do spinach even. It's nice, and, and, and you can do whatever it is you want. to. You can poach uh, uh, beet leaves. I mean, you can do a bunch of greens, then you cut small and small. The chicken stock is right there. We're going to take your chicken stock, and we're going to pour it in here. Right there, you see? This is it. We're going to pour not too much. Not too much. We're going to wait and see if we need it for more later. And then we're going to flavor this. We're going to flavor this with... Um, we're doing a tangerine balsamic vinegar. You know, I love balsamic vinegar. I use them all the time. This is the tangerine balsamic vinegar. Then we're going to put soy sauce. I wanted to kind of show you the three most popular brand we have in Fort Lauderdale. I mean, well, there's a lot of them out there. You know, it's just the three brands that I easily say. Uh, Sanjay, uh, Kekamen, you all know that, and uh, uh, La Choy. La Choy is supposed to be the original. Well, if that's the original, I don't like it. It's not, it's very salty. You overdose on salt just with this thing. Not then Kikamen is not salty. It is a low sodium version also. Not then it's not salty, but it's, it's okay. But really, the Sanjay is, uh, is an organic. It's 25% less sodium. It's really delicious. So that's my favorite. The other one I like, um, Kikamen is okay, but, but the other one, boy, I don't care if it's on sale, it's not very good. All right, so we're gonna put Sanjay right there, soy sauce, and with the, uh, with the balsamic vinegar, it's gonna balance it out really nice. And then we're gonna put a little bit of, um, let me make sure this comes to, to high heat. And then we're gonna put a little bit of soy sauce in there, I mean the soy sauce, a little bit of hot sauce right there. And we're gonna mix this up for a minute and we're gonna let it come to boil. We're gonna let it come to boil and let it cook for a while. And then we're gonna take our fish, friends, and we're gonna cook it on top of that. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna cook the fish on top 
So it's going to poach in, in the liquid, but we're going to keep it fairly on top, and we're going to cover what it's cooking. So we're going to let this cook for a while, and then we're going to adjust it and see if it's good. But this is so simple. This broth, you should be able to drink it. It, it should be that good, then you want to drink it. I, I have the bowl of butter right there. That's just for emotional support, because I don't think I'm going to put any butter in there. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll put some in there. We'll see. Chives, we're going to put out at the last minute. Carrots, we're going to put them in. I got this, uh, this grater here that I'm going to try. I want little pieces of, uh, I don't want to have to cut them, the carrots. So this thing is supposed to give me some little pieces. Man, you better be careful with those because if you miss, you're going to have red, really red carrots. <laughs> I better watch what I'm doing. Let's see what it comes out of. There's like a thing, right? Well, you can see what it comes out. I hope it comes out good. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Give us some nice color, some nice flavor. You see? I want to put that in there. Let me just put this aside. And then I'm going to show you how to do this uh, bok choy, how to cut this correctly. I think that'll be nice right there. Give us some nice color. You see, the thing is already boiling. And so that's going to cook. It's already smelling delicious. And this broth, Frank, don't be afraid to make extra because... You're going to love it. Now, lucky, then there's no salt in my chicken stock because it's homemade. But if you're using a store-bought chicken stock, be careful. Uh, be between the soy sauce and the chicken stock, you may want to really pay attention to how much soy sauce you're putting in because you may have already too much salt. That's why I tell everybody, do not put salt in your chicken stock. If you make it, you don't need to put salt in there. All right? So let me test it to make sure it's good. Because if it's no good, oh, can't test with a fork. Let's see if it's any good. It's going a little fast, eh? What do you think? I mean, I want to cook the vegetables, but I don't want to cook it too much. So, oh, yeah, starting to taste good. I could put a little bit more soy sauce in there. So I'm going to put just a little bit more. See, that's the whole idea about how much. Everybody's like, how much, how much, how much, how much. You test it. You see if it's, your, if it's your, to your liking. If it needs more salt, put a little more soy sauce in there, right? So the ginger has not come through yet because it's going to take a little while for it to come through. And that's it. So let me clean this up and let it uh, continue. The, the fish, this is a, 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 a card, a Boston card that comes from the main area. I mean, ship, it comes from Boston, but it's probably Maine, the, the, the main area then gets it. And so white fish. And the fish peddler, my fishmonger, gets it every Monday, every Thursday. And it is amazing. It's very flaky. This is what you're going to use for fish and chip. We're going to make a fish and chip with home fries. I'm going to make one of those for you. Uh, that's a fabulous recipe. I love making this with a nice remoulade. It's going to be delicious. The, the sign that it's very fresh right there is uh, this bloodline right there is, uh, is, uh, is not browned. You know, it's beautiful. And uh, it smells amazing. It's super, super fresh. So we're going to wait for this to come to boil completely, cook a little bit longer so the vegetables are cooked, and then we're going to put it in. While this is happening, I'm going to show you real quick how to make the, uh, clean the bok choy, okay? When you clean the bok choy, this is a, it's supposed to be a baby bok choy, but some baby bok choy. It's big. So what I do is I cut the leaves first in half like this, and then what I do is I take the leaves and I put them in half, like this, because they're very big. If it's too big when you eat this, when you eat it, it's so big, then um, it's going to uh, uh, fall off your spoon. So what I do is I cut it in half, or I cut it, in this case, in three pieces, and then I cut them in strips. Okay, that's one part that we're going to do, right? Then the other part... We're going to just cut it, and we'll go straight up and down. You see, look, straight up and down. Don't make them too big, otherwise they take too long to cook. And closer you get to the end and thinner you want to make them. Go, go straight up and down, you see? Straight up and down. When you get close to the roots, and you're done. Don't even bother with this, okay? So now what do we have here? Well, we have uh, a vegetables that needs to be washed. So you know what I do? I take it. I put it in a colander. I put it in a colander. I throw this away. I wash it really quick, friends. Wash it really quick. 
I already did the one you're gonna have, but I wash it. This is just to demonstrate it really quick. And then you know what I do? I put it in a, a salad spinner, friends. I will wash it a little more than this, okay? This is just for a quick demonstration, okay? This is just for a quick demonstration, friends. And then I dry it with a salad spinner. You see? I do this all the time with all my vegetables. And then, and then I got all the water out of it, but I would wash it a little more than that, okay? So do it a little better. I was just showing you real quick how to do it, okay? Now we're gonna take our fish, friends, and we're gonna put it in here. And we're gonna cook the fish. We're gonna put it with the bloodline down and no salt and pepper necessary because um, we're gonna put a little bit of hot sauce. I don't know if I put the hot sauce in there, but if I did, then it'll be a little too much. But it's okay, because you're not gonna eat it. So I'm gonna eat it, and I don't mind. <laughs> I'm telling you, look. That's it, friends. I think I didn't put it in. I wanted to put it in, and then I started talking, I forgot. All right, we're gonna push the fish in there now, and we're gonna cover it. Now, the fish is only gonna take a few minutes, friends. And then we're gonna serve it with the jasmine rice. We're gonna put a jasmine rice in the bottom of the plate, and we're gonna put the fish on top and the broth. But I wanna show you, I wanna fix the broth because the broth is probably a little too liquid. So I'm gonna add a touch, but I mean a touch of cornstarch, just enough so it's not too liquid. It's got better of a mouthfeel. Remember, it's all about the texture, friends. And it has to have the right texture. So we're gonna bring it to the right texture. So we're gonna let this cook about two or three minutes and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. All right. Then we go, uh, the, I'm gonna, uh, the, the fish is, I'm gonna turn it off now. It's certainly gonna get to 145. It's probably there already. We're gonna double check it again to make sure that it is at the right temperature. 145, 148, see right there, 147, 148. I'm good, I'm out. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get myself a plate of rice. I got a rice cooker right there and we cook uh, jasmine rice. We do it with a chicken stock and some uh, little dice of uh, bell peppers. Uh, we, do, we use chicken stock, eh? we never use rice, we never use water for chicken stock. Eh? If you made a risotto, would you make a risotto with water? No, right? So why do you cook regular rice with water? No, don't do it. Chicken stock and butter. <laughs> yeah. So then if you, if you notice, folks, the, uh, the fish is going to be nice and flaky. Look how gorgeous that is. Look how gorgeous that is. Look at this, friends. You see? It's beautiful, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to put the fish in here like this, right? Now, if you notice the sauce, friends, let me take all the fish out because I don't want it to continue cooking. So I'm going to take it out, right? Just take it out right there, just like that. It's going to be nice and flaky. Look how beautiful that is. You see? See, see how it flakes right there? You see? It flakes. Look how beautiful it is. This is gorgeous, see? Beautiful fish. Absolutely gorgeous, right? Just like that. Look at this. Now, at this point, friends, you can certainly serve it like this, and it'll be delicious, but, you know... Remember, I always emphasize that it's all about the texture, friends. And texture, let me see, let me turn this guy off and let me turn this one on. So it's all about texture. And if you notice that texture, it's quite liquid. So you know what I do, I like to do? I like to add a little bit of cornstarch, just a little bit. Just enough to thicken it slightly so it's not so liquid. And if it's not so liquid, it'll stay on your tongue just a bit longer. It'll stay on a fish just a bit longer. And uh, uh, thus enhancing the experience. Remember, it's all about the tongue. Yeah, you gotta hit that tongue taking care of it. You know, otherwise if you swallow the food too fast, bloop, the uh, uh, nerve ending on that tongue, the 8,000 nerve ending where on the top of a tongue gonna go, what's going on, what just happened? It went too fast, it was too thin. So we can thicken it up just a little bit, okay? Leave it thick, if, leave it thin, if, we, if you like it better that way, it doesn't matter. But I think you should try it my way, just a little thicker, but you'll see it when I pour it on there. You'll see it when I pour it on there, then it stays on there just long enough. You see, friends? You see, look, look. It stays on the fish long enough. And let me tell you this, friends, 
is absolutely amazing and so simple to make. Come on, this was really, really simple, wasn't it? And, and then we're going to top it with, uh, with some chives in there, friends. Remember, chives, we don't cook them. Eh? We put them at the end, just like this. Just like this. Put them a little bit at the end if you want. Put them just a little bit like this at the end. That's it. That's it. Right there, friends. This is an amazing fish and so simple. What else fish could you do that with? You could do it with salmon. You could do it with, with style fish. You could do it with, with um, grouper. You could use it with so many different fish. Any fish that you can poach gently, you can do it with it. And, and the broth is amazing. I promise you, you're going to love it. Matter of fact, you know what? Let me check it. <laughs> Let me just double check it to make sure it is indeed good. Because uh, let, let's look at it. Let's see if we can look at it. Let, let's, see. let's see if we can look at it, friends. Let me see if I can get myself a tool. You know, I got plenty of tools down there. I got plenty of tools right there. I want to show you. Let's see if we can look at it, folks. Look, 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 look at this. Look how beautiful that is. Can you guys see? Look how beautiful that is. You see, if it's flaky. And, and this should be absolutely amazing. I'm telling you. It's a, a wow. Huh. Oh, oh. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm, mmm. You see? Look, look at this. Look at this, man. And it's cooked to perfection. You see, not overcooked. It's not transparent anymore. But it's absolutely amazing. Folks, I hope you tried this recipe. Amazing. Easy to do. All you got to do is do this little prep. I promise you, you're going to love it. Remember, if, if you like the recipe, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to ring the bell so you get a notification every Thursday when we make a new video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.